but that this sense of the separate ego you 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 mentioned you know people who are overly ego kind of identified maybe as, as struggling with with psychedelics but am i right that in the 70s you're in your research you actually did some work with people with personality disorders did you with psychedelics to to mm -hmm. was there anyone I'd, I'd actually heard an ayahuasca shaman say that narcissists are the only people they they don't think psychedelics can help because they're too far gone in this kind of ego investment. Um, did you, yeah, I'd be interested as to what your thoughts are on that topic. Well, I, I haven't done a, a large study with narcissists, so I, okay. I, I can't give you definitive research results. Uh, but my general outlook is that uh, some people, because of their personality disorders or their personality structures, if you will, what's genetic and what's caused by the way we happen to develop, who knows, you know, but some people have a harder time choosing to trust their own minds, to, to allow themselves to be out of control. It's like being on the high dive, uh, ready to dive into the swimming pool and you don't know the temperature of the water or the depth of the water. You know other people have jumped and they've said it's okay. <laughs> but do you have the courage to jump, you know? Uh, and th there's a, a decision there uh, that comes out of kind of a strong ego. You know, I've thought about this and I've decided, you know, today with these people, with this substance and this dosage, with this music, with this support system, I choose to dive off the diving board, you know? And, um, but that's much harder for some people than others. But I wouldn't say that um, a person cannot benefit, I would say, uh, my hypothesis would be they need more time developing a relationship with a therapist. They need extra care. Um, it's still unknown to what extent uh, psychedelics might be helpful to uh, people who are on the brink of psychosis naturally, you know. It might be, uh, it could be helpful to some of them if they were in a very supportive, safe setting, uh, in inpatient uh, care, um, as in uh, the old Soteria House experiments in California and so on. Uh, we, we really don't know. But the theory there uh, is that, you know, Psychosis happens when um, the mind uh, needs to be reset, when it just can't function in its current constellation anymore. And so there's this spontaneous opening to other states of consciousness. Uh, and the thought is if when that happens, you could pro if you could provide a safe, supportive environment and treat those changes in consciousness like a psychedelic experience, you might be able to guide the person to a new integration. Instead, typically uh, uh, the person gets handcuffed in the back of a police car and taken to a mental health ward where he sits alone half the night waiting to see a psychiatrist and then they pump him full of medications to stop these states of consciousness so if he wasn't psychotic at the beginning he is by the time he gets into the uh, mental health ward you know yeah and there may be some creative uh, new ways of uh thinking about psychiatric treatment in uh not only with uh, personality disorders and anxiety and depression and addiction states, but also uh, the psychotic states. But it's going to take funding and time. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, right. And it sounds quite similar to uh, Stan Groff's idea of a spiritual emergency or, you know, this spiritual emergence where, a, you know, psychosis could be, uh, yeah, a state where material is trying to come up to get processed and our current mode is to shut it down as rapidly as possible. Um, but yeah, I think that's a really interesting idea. The idea of, I mean, at the moment, I think, you know, psychosis seems to be, in a lot of cases, precipitated by stress and trauma. And if, if there's a way to allow this material to come out in a safe, caring context, I, I can imagine it diffusing that, that psychological energy before it precipitates a crisis. Right. Yeah. yeah.